Hey everybody, Tristan here with Fit Life Champions. I just finished a workout with Dave, so I wanted to take you through my post-workout stretching routine. Normally I'd hold each of these stretches for 30 seconds to a minute, but I'm just gonna go through it really fast just so you can see the routine and slow down and do it on your own time at your own pace. Again, 30 seconds to a minute per stretch. So I normally like to stay sitting for most of it. We are cooling down after all. I'm gonna straighten my legs. Nice tall core. And we're just going to sit here a little bit as we start working on our shoulders. So we're going to start with a cross body stretch, pulling everything to the opposite side, really stretching out posterior deltoid and the rhomboids. And of course, whatever we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. Reach up and over, and we're going to stretch the latissimus and the triceps by holding our elbow and pulling it down towards the middle of our back. And switch sides. While we're here, I'm gonna try and touch my toes, stretch out those hamstrings, and again, we would hold those for 30 seconds to a minute. Next, I like to come into the quadruped position, and we're just gonna do some really simple cat-cows you might remember from yoga. This here is the cat position, and spinal extension is the cow position. I'll do that maybe seven or eight times each, each position. From here, I'm going to take one foot, kind of step forward a little bit. Nice strong core, don't let that get too loose. I'm just going to lean forward, and stretch the iliopsoas muscle, your deep hip flexor. Step back a little bit so you can balance, reach back and grab your ankle, and pull it up to stretch your quads. And then we'll do that on the other side. Step forward, nice strong core, lean into it. Step back, grab your ankle, and stretch the quad. Here I'm going to find a door frame or something I can use to kind of support myself. And we're just going to stretch the pecs by leaning into that door frame, holding our shoulder back. Get on the other side here. There we go. Next, I'm going to come lie on my back. I'm going to do a good routine for the hips and hamstrings. We'll start with the knee to chest, really good for the glutes. Then I like to grab my toe, straighten my leg as much as I can, and stretch the lower hamstrings. From here, I'll straighten my leg the rest of the way, put the same side shoulder into the floor, and gently reach across my body, making sure to keep the hip on the same side on the floor as well. Don't let that come up and rotate your spine. From here, I'm going to bend the knee and rotate so that I can grab my ankle and pull both up into my body and stretch the piriformis. Nice little circles. That leg's done. Other side, we'll do knee to chest, grab the toe, stretch the hamstring, straighten the leg, the shoulder into the floor, and rotate across the body. Bend the knee, grab the ankle, and pull up into that piriformis stretch. We call this one the figure four, I've heard. And a couple little circles for the knee. Now I'm gonna sit back up straight, widen my stance a little bit, and we'll reach and touch one toe reach and touch the other toe, and reach for the middle, and then I'm going to bring my feet in, bring them nice and close to my body, and use my arms to push my knees down into the floor for the butterfly stretch. This is a good one for the adductors on the inside of your thigh. And that's it. This is normally how I end my stretching routine. 
So be sure to like and comment, and let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks so much. This has been Tristan. Have a good day.